sorry, Claudia. No idea where Chris is. There you go. It's just that Mr Tate didn't come home last night. I wasn't sure what to do. Chris didn't come back. Perhaps he just made an early start this morning. His bed's not been slept in. I put Joseph to bed and read him a story. I woke up in the armchair beside him with a crick in my neck and the book in my lap. Are you sure he didn't come back? Have you tried his mobile? Yeah, but it switched off. That's odd. The thing is, uh, it's supposed to be my day off and I've got some appointments I can't cancel. Well, it looks like his Aunt Zoe to the rescue again. I tell you what, if you look after Joseph this morning, I'll just take a half day. I'll be back by lunch. I'll meet you in the diner at noon. It's a deal. Claudia, you're an angel. I'd hate to let Mr Tate down. There you go. All done. Thanks, Empty Cafe. So, what are you doing at school today? A project on the millennium. That sounds interesting. Where will we be in the year 2000? We're here, of course, with all our friends. Will there be a party? Yep, the biggest ever. Brilliant. Oh, don't forget your PE kit. Go upstairs and get it. What do you want, Elsa? To talk. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Your plans for Alice came as quite a shock. I'm sorry. I know this must be hard for you, Cathy. It's not me I'm thinking about. It's Alice. It's at the end of your bed. Elsa, this isn't a good time. I'm trying to get Alice ready for school. I'm not just going to go away, Cathy. Sooner or later, we're going to have to sit down and talk. Yes, I realise that, but not now. Who was that? No one, sweetheart. Come on, let's get you ready for school. We've just heard the there you go. Thanks. I'm really glad we're friends again, Scott. Yeah. I'm glad to. But, um, you've got to try and make the effort with Roy. I'll try, Kelly. I promise. So, what are you and Mitch up to today? Oh, building empires, cornering markets, usual stuff. Got a few new leads to follow up. Oh, sure things will go great. <laughs> Blimey, am I in the right house? Am I missing something? You two have normally drawn blood by now. Mum, everything's fine. Got us out of time. I'd better go. See you later. Yeah, later. Bye, Mum. Bye. What was all that about? It's simple. Me and Scott have decided that all that fire was getting us nowhere. Oh, great. Mum, we're for letting bygones be bygones. Don't get confused, Viv. I've made up with Scott. I didn't say anything about you. You look stressed. It's Elsa, isn't it? No, no, I'm okay. If you want to talk... I know, Graham. The more people are involved, the more complicated this is going to get. You'd probably be right. I can go to Laura for legal advice, and then there's always Chris. Chris. Of course. Let's get on and enjoy your breakfast. There you go. I hate to see Cathy unhappy like this. I only really wish she'd let me help. Look, I don't think Chris could just vanish into thin air, Zoe. That would be too much to hope for. Oh, Laura's here. I'll call you back if she knows anything. All right, bye. If Laura knows anything about what? Where Chris is. Apparently, Chris has been a bit of a dirty stop out and he hasn't shown up this morning. He's gone AWOL. We were supposed to be having our 8.30 argument. Well, I was supposed to see him here at 9. Look, I don't want to panic anyone, but do you think we should call the police? I mean, there was all that graffiti about the Tates, wasn't there? Yeah, maybe we should. The police have got better things to do. What do you think, Laura? I think it's damned inconvenient. You two better get on the road. Hey, glad to see you've got a clean bill of health again, mate. That makes two of us. I need the money. Sure you do. Listen, as Chris isn't here, perhaps you and I should have that meeting. You know, without Chris's uh, input, we might just make some progress for once. This must be awful for you, Cathy. I think Elsa's got a right nerve trying to get her hands on little Alice again. After all she did to that poor child. She's still a natural mother. If it comes to a custody battle, that means a lot. Not if anybody in this village has got to say in it. We're all behind you, Cathy. Everybody knows that Alice belongs with you. That is right. 
I gave birth to neither Robert nor Andy, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm their mother. And I'd fight anybody who tried to tell me differently. Don't worry. I intend to fight for Alice, whatever it takes. Kathy, I was wondering if you could do me a big favour. I've got to work and I was hoping you could look after Joseph a few hours. Zoe, I've got my hands full here. I'm really sorry. Plus, she's got Elsa to worry about. Oh, really lousy timing on my part. Forget I asked. Couldn't Chris look after him? Well, he might if I knew where he was. He seems to have done a disappearing act. Oh, dear. Now, I hope that wasn't my fault. I did suggest it might be a good time for him to take a break. He seemed quite keen. I think he might have said something. Oh. He'd know there'd be arrangements to make for Joseph. I'd say that was probably typical of your brother. Only thinks about himself and expects everybody else to mop up after him. What's that then? Yeah, he will get a place of his own soon. You think? Yeah. All we've got to do is work hard. Save hard. Mm, I suppose. Hey, come here. Be all right. See you later on. Yeah. Morning. Morning. Don't jump, Scott. Who care if I did, eh? What's up with you? Ah, oh, get out the wrong side of some woman's bed this morning, eh? I just don't feel too good about myself right now, that's all. Oh, dear. Man's ego down. Yeah, something like that. Come on, don't let it get to you, Scott. Women like buses to you, mate. Be another one along in a minute. Nah, not this time. The membership of the Scott Windsor Fan Club is running pretty low at the moment. Whoever she is, she's certainly got to you. Tell me, Richie, honestly, what do you really think of me? <laughs> well, you're a mate. And? And a bit of a jack the lad, I grant you, but you... I'm a conniving, manipulating, self-centred user. You are on a downer. Perhaps I should have let you jump. So, Elsa wants Alice back. That woman can want from now until doomsday, but Alice is staying put. Well, it stands to reason, though, doesn't it? Elsa is Alice's mother, after all. The courts found Elsa unfit to look after the child, and Cathy has made a grand job of raising her. Well, I'm not saying Cathy's a bad parent, but it's not easy bringing up somebody else's kid, believe me. I know. Hello, Dad. How have you been keeping? Dad, speak to me, please. I'll wait and be served by yourself, Mrs Windsor, if that's all right. I'm finished, dear. Emily, why don't you go and put the kettle on? Down for a cuppa. Is that everything? That'll be all. Been upsetting young Gatley. I said no to her. Not that it's any of your business. Well, what did you go in shop for then? I needed a bag of sugar. You sure you didn't go in to see Emily? Not that Emily. She's tainted. My Emily will come home soon enough, wanting things to be like they were. Once this butch dingle business is over with. Until then, she doesn't exist. I can't believe Chris hasn't been in touch yet. I'm trying to stay calm for Joseph's sake, but I am a bit worried. Hi. Hello, Joseph. You've been having a good time? Yeah. Still no sign of Mr. Tate, then? Not a thing. Come on. Let's get you and Joseph some lunch. It's the least I can do. Thanks. I'm starved. Make sure you charge Chris double time for your inconvenience. I will. I just wish I knew where he was. Oh, look out. Here comes little Miss Trouble. It's all right, Betty. Are you going to follow me around all day? Can we go somewhere private? Just say what you have to say, Elsa. I'm busy. Oh, by the way, I had a word with Laura Johnson. She's a solicitor. 
I was hoping we could sort this out amicably without involving the courts. Oh, I bet you were, especially as you didn't get custody of Alice last time. Betty, please, believe me, Elsa, the last thing I want to do is go to court. We must do what's best for Alice. Ah, oh, something we agree on. I never stopped loving Alice. It's just that I can offer her a better life now. Is that right? I'm married now. Brett's given me the confidence to come back here and get Alice. I've also got a stepson, Shane. I'm glad you've made a new life for yourself, but that changes nothing. Alice is staying here with me. You haven't told her yet, have you? How would you tell an eight-year-old girl that a complete stranger wants to take her away? Can I see her? Yes. Yes, you can see her. Do you think that's wise, Cathy? Why not? You see, Betty, there's one thing that Elsa doesn't seem to understand, and that's how much Alice and I love each other. I'll never let her go. And I'll fight you every step of the way if you try and take her. Something. The surgery work paddy will have to handle it. I'm afraid I've got other problems to deal with. I just wondered if you knew where Chris was. I wish I did. That's what's causing all the problems. What did you want to see him about? I am an apology. What for? I guess you heard me and Roy lost a deposit for our cottage. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry about that. I was gutted. It's everything we've ever dreamed of. So, I asked Chris if he'd give it to us. I see. Well, he was really angry, and he was right to be. He's done so much for me and Roy already, paying for the honeymoon and everything. Oh, I shouldn't have asked for anything else. Well, I'm sure when he thinks about the circumstances, he'll understand. I hope so. I don't want to lose him as a friend. He's always been so good to me. about what happened in the wool pack yesterday. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting Cathy to react like that. You don't have to apologise to me for anything that happens in the wool pack anymore. It's under new management. It's not my concern. But you shouldn't be surprised that Cathy wasn't pleased to see you. I guess I was kidding myself. I'd practised what I'd say to her so many times back in Australia. I'd started to hope that me getting Alice back could free Cathy to lead her own life. But Alice is Cathy's life. Or a very large part of it. She's still my daughter. You're determined to go through with this, then? Oh, yes. I know it won't be easy. I know how much everyone in the village hates me. I just wish they'd give me the chance to prove I've changed. Well, that is asking rather a lot, Elsa. Is it? I thought at least you might understand. Well, as, as Alice's godfather, I only just want what's best for her. Even if that meant her leaving the village? You've changed. When you were manager at Home Farm, you weren't exactly popular. Well, that was my own fault. I was under rather a lot of pressure at the time. I treated some people very badly. But they gave you a second chance. That's all I'm asking. Don't judge me by what I was, but what I am now. I've been very lucky. I've got a good husband, a lovely house, everything I ever wanted, except my daughter. I want to share my good luck with her. To give her all the things I never could. To make up for all the lost years. I know I can make her happy now if I just get the chance. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? You Eric Pollard? Yeah, that's right. And this is your stuff, you'd better sign for it. Uh, but you can't leave it. I've got nowhere to store it. Not my problem. Can't stay at home farm now it's being sold. Might be able to store it at Village Hall. What a price. Uh, how much? Forty quid a week in advance. That is daylight robbery! I'm not haggling, so you better make your mind up quick, because this stuff will want moving in. And I can't help. Not with my back. <laughs> ah, I'm sure you'd, uh, <laughs> you'd lend a hand, wouldn't you? <laughs> Our pleasure. For a price. 
And this is our house. You've got a swimming pool. Yeah. But this is a picture of something much more special. Who's this? That's Shane, your brother. I've got a brother? Yeah. And I know he'd love to meet his sister. There you go. Are you sure you're doing the right thing, letting Elsa see Alice? Oh, I've been Alice's mum in all but name for three years. No one's going to take that away in a few hours. Sarah, I've got to go. Is still okay to look after Alice? Yeah, of course. Thanks. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? I'm storing my gym apparatus. And who gave you permission to store your apparatus in the village hall? Your trusty caretaker, Seth Armstrong. And I suggest if you have a problem, you speak to him. I take it there was a sum of money involved. I paid him rent in advance, yes. Oh, rent? Mm. But no deposit. Nobody mentioned deposit. Oh, well, yes, you see, Seth does rents. I do deposits. Um, shall we say a hundred pounds? Whatever happened to the Eighth Commandment, eh? Thou shall not steal. Oh, you of all people should understand market forces, Eric. How's Alice then, sis? Oh, Nick, she's growing up so fast. Hey, she can order her own meal in a restaurant now. Yeah. <laughs> you should have seen her. The waiter said, does madam want chips with that? And she told him, too much fried food's bad for you. <laughs> Don't tell me she's watching a figure. She'll be dating lads next. Oh, I hope that's a while off. Mind you, there's a little lad called Darren who carries her books at school, but she thinks he's a right dog. <laughs> she was only knee-high when I left. I've missed so much of her growing up. I wish you'd let me bring her in to see you, Nick. You know I don't want her to see me in prison, Kath. This is no place for my little girl. I'm much happier knowing that she's safe in the village and that she's being looked after by you. Well, if that's what you want, I'm going to need your help. What do you mean? Elsa's back and she wants custody. Well, maybe Laura talked to him for us. It's worth a try. I'll get some drinks in. I was wondering if you could give Chris a message. Most unlikely. I haven't seen him all day and uh, no-one seems to know where he's got to. Is it important? Well, it is to me, but I guess I have to wait. Cheers. I'll get these for you, Roy. No, you don't, mate. Not left to serve for anywhere, thanks to you. I know you must feel. I saw workmen at the cottage this morning. But there will be other places. Yeah, and we won't be able to afford them either. You might be able to. Look, if I can pay your money back. I can't do it straight away, obviously, but I can start paying instalments. Conscience money. I just want to pay you back for what I did, Roy. Yeah, well, it's too late. <sighs> Your drinks. Cheers, nice. Thanks, Roy. It's out of the question. She's not fit to call herself a mother. Everybody knows that. Maybe most people in the village do, but if it comes to the crunch, it won't be them that make the decision. He'll be a judge. Well, then I don't see what I can do stuck in here, Cathy. They're not going to listen to me. They have to, Nick. As I see it, there are three people who have some say in this. You. Me and Elsa. Well, you know, I want Alice to stay with you. You're the one person in her life who's never let her down. I don't intend to start now. If we stick together on this, I'm sure a court would have to find in our favour. When they finally let you out of here, me and Alice will be there waiting for you. Just like you always wanted. There you go, sir. I hope you're enjoying your free ale week. Does the cat like cream? Seth, I've been looking for you. Oh, might be good. Eric Pollard has deposited a load of gym equipment in the village hall. Why are you going for the eight pack, Ashley? No, Betty, I'm trying to get some money from Seth. It'd be easier going for the eight pack, love. Eric mentioned some rent. Oh, aye. Uh, I was just going to hand it over. Aye, uh, 20 pound a week. Oh, hang on. Uh, I think it might have been 25. Ah, that's right. You know what they say, Seth. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. And the devil looks after his own. I didn't know I had a brother. I only found out myself today, Alice. 
His name's Shane. I know. Do you think I'll meet him soon, Auntie Cathy? I don't know. Maybe. Elsa said he'd really like to meet me. Yeah, I'm sure she did. Ah, love. <laughs> oh, cheer up, Pam. I hate to see you looking this down. I can't help it, Butch. I can tell you one of Amanda's jokes, if you like. It's clean. I'm sorry, Butch. I'm not in the mood for jokes. I can't stop thinking about my dad. He looked straight through me when he came in the shop today, like I wasn't even there. I wouldn't worry yourself about him, love. He told me you meant nothing to him now. Not till you went home and gave Butch up for good. Now, what sort of a dad would sacrifice his daughter's happiness for his own selfishness? Look, if you wanted to go home, I wouldn't stand in your way. If there has to be a choice, it's med. I want to be with you, Butch. I just wish he could see that don't mean I don't love him anymore. I want us all to be happy. We could be, if he'd just give you a chance. What do you think you're playing at, Elsa? I don't know what you mean. I know exactly what you're up to. Filling Alice's head with stories of brothers and swimming pools? Alice had the right to know she has a stepbrother. Yeah, and I had the right to tell her when I thought she was ready. Where is Alice? At home. On her own? I have left her for a few minutes. You wouldn't. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Well, you better not. And you better not tell Alice anything about wanting to take her away. Someone's going to have to. Not if you want to keep seeing her. Thanks for dropping by, Laura. It's nice to have some company. I wanted to come over. I knew you'd be worried about Chris. We've found his car, Zoe. Has there been an accident? It was found abandoned. Abandoned? Where? On some waste ground in Hotton. All the doors and the windows were open. We found some kids trying to nick one of the wheels. They said it had been there all night. Well, never mind about the car. What about Chris? There was no sign of him. I don't understand. With his car being found like this, we have no alternative. I'm sorry, Zoe. Chris is now officially a missing person. Thank you.